Hey, welcome back to the lands of Middle Earth. I'm your host, Roman Dasel. Today we're going to be looking at Denethor, Armored Boromir, and the Citadel Guards, or the Guards of the Fountain Court, as it's listed on the, the packaging here. So as you can see, I have two Denethors, one Armored Boromir, and in the back we have four Citadel Guards, or Guards of the Fountain Court or guards of the tree, whatever, however you want to call it. So we'll start with the Denethor. The first Denethor I bought long ago on eBay. Came in the original Return of the King packaging. I forget what I paid for it. And then I later got a Boromir with armored Denethor at Fan of the Sport for uh, something like $15 plus taxes. After a while... The owner of the store was trying to get rid of this stuff and was just offering it to me for half price because I kept coming back. So that was great. And then I went on the web store and bought the Citadel, the Guards of the Fountain Court. Now both Denethors are metal. It's the same pose, nothing new there. The only difference I did was I painted them differently. Because even Denethor has to change his underwear sometimes. So I gave him a different style cloak. Can't always be dark and gloomy. It's got to spice things up. Now I would like to get the Denethor that Forge World has. Where he's holding the uh, a torch and he's about to light himself on fire. That one I want to get. <clears throat> so that's in the future. So many things to buy. So nothing special with Denethor. He doesn't come with any heroic action pose. Just looks like an old man on a throne. Ready to send everyone out to die. Before killing himself. Made of metal. Most of the blister pack guys were, were metal back in the day. So he just sits up in the uh, tower looking at his stone. Wondering what happened to Boromir. So an armored Boromir you never actually get to read about in the book itself. You just know that he's that he is a captain of Gondor, so it stands to reason that they have his own set of armor. Now Games Workshop gave him a crappy set of armor. Should have been much better, but oh well. But I like how Peter Jackson's movie, they did show an armored Boromir in full armor when he re briefly retook East of Skiliath. So that is pretty cool. And the model is metal, gives him an heroic pose, and he's got all his he's got his round shield. He's got he's got the horn from the kind of Iran on his belt. He's got a sword. Looks pretty heroic. So he's definitely someone you can use in battles before Aragorn shows up. So retaking East of Skiliath, raids into Harlothian. Things like that. Then we get these four. These are resin. The originals were actually, I think, metal. You used to be able to get a blister pack of three, I believe. Hard to find now unless you go on eBay. So, But these ones are, are all plastic or resin. All spearmen. And I love the design that what a workshop's made for these guys. I thought it was really cool. And it's how I imagined the Royal Guards would look like. So whenever Denethor goes into battle, these guys would be there. Or the Kings of Gondor would go into battle, these guys would be like the, the, the bodyguards. The elite. These, these guys also guard the White Tree on our the guards of the High Court. So really useful. They should be, like I said, they're the elite, so they're all veterans of countless battles picked for not only for their strength, for their loyalty, for their endurance, for, you know, for everything. They're the best of the best. Highly motivated troops. It'd be nice to have eight, four more of these to make a, a complete company, but these were kind of expensive to buy. It'd be nice to see some with swords as well, and maybe even a company of bowmen. 
to make a full regiment. But there we have it. We got Denethor and his guards, his last line of defense, which didn't help him because he burned himself up. And then you got his favorite son, Boromir. Adds nicely to the army of Gondor. And from a design standpoint, these were really, these were awesome, these guards. And that was the great thing about Lord of the Rings, the Peter Jackson movies. He did an excellent job in casting. Sean Bean played a really good Boromir. Denethor was played really well. can't remember the actor's name who played him. Faramir, the guy who played Faramir, did pretty, pretty well as well, too. And the whole sets and layouts were just great in the movie. And I'm glad Games Workshop followed that pretty re realistically. So, any Lord of the Rings strategy battle game fans, or just Lord of the Rings fans in general, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Are these guys really good to play with? Because I've never used them in an actual game yet. I intend to have a, a big battle eventually. Get some friends over. Or use my kids as guinea pigs. So leave comments in the comment section. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, hit that like button. Till next time, I'm Roman Daisel. I am out of here.